Yeah, Randy, we're at Holy Trinity Church here in South Minneapolis near uh, Lake Street. And actually, they've just wrapped up testing for the day. They wrapped up at 6 p.m. Of course, they'll continue uh, tomorrow. Now, MDH said they had they plan to have about 3,000 tests through those four locations uh, today and tomorrow. And they told us that they were at full capacity for both of those days. Now, apart from these free COVID testing sites, area clinics have been seeing a lot of people coming in as well. Holy Trinity Church in South Minneapolis is one of four free testing sites across the metro. Airing on a side of caution. Jeff Carlson says he attended several events at 38th in Chicago last week following the death of George Floyd. Saw that anyone who was at the vigils or the protests should go over and get tested. The Minnesota Department of Health urged people participating in these protest vigils or cleanups to get tested for COVID-19. You don't need symptoms. Uh, if you were out last week, we encourage folks to get tested. MDH planned for about 3,000 tests Tuesday and Wednesday. Health officials say this week's testing is now full, but there will be availability next week and the week after. It's not just these free testing sites seeing an overwhelming number of people getting tested. Hennepin Healthcare has noticed a spike at their downtown testing site as well. Over the last um, two days, we've seen 200 plus patients each day. Dr. Ann Huss says their questionnaire for testing now includes whether or not somebody attended a protest, vigil, or cleanup. We are encouraging people to wait kind of five to seven days after they have had that exposure in that large group. That just provides more time for the virus to kind of reach its incubation period. Back in South Minneapolis, Jeff says he had no issues getting tested Tuesday. The test was really quick, and now I'm on my way home to tell my wife that, you know, it's done. Now, MDH says they haven't opened up any bookings for next week and the week after. That'll be next Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the Tuesday and Wednesday after that. They did say just a little bit ago that they're working to add more tests for those days as well. Of course, we have all the information you need on our website, care11.com.